We're ranking reskin Lamborghini Aventadors. Why are we not calling them one-off exclusive V12 Lamborghinis? Because reskin Aventadors are what they are. Let's get it. Now, this is the Lamborghini SC18 Austin. Now, from the back, it looks like it was an experimental design that helped them design the Centenario and the SVJ. From the front, it looks like they let Mansori design it. And to people who think Mansori body kits look good, I just have nothing to say. Next, we got the Lamborghini Veneno. Now, when this came out, I was in like eighth grade and I thought it was pretty ugly. Now I think it's fucking ugly. Next we got the Lamborghini Sion, and a lot of people think this car looks good. A lot of people think it's cool. I think it's cooler than the Veneno, but me personally, I just can't find a good looking angle of this car. And it looks even worse from the back. Like these taillights look terrible and the design overall just looks like it was designed by like Nimrod or somebody. Now the SC20 along with the SC18 Austin, I forgot existed, but it looks like an Aventador J with the body kit. It doesn't look as good as an Aventador J, but it's a topless Aventador, you can't be mad at it. Now this car has gotten a lot of hate because it's not the same as an original Countach, and most of the people saying that don't actually know what an original Countach is like. I don't either, but from people that have driven it, they say it's not practical at all, and that's why it's so enjoyable. I imagine being based off of an Aventador with a hybrid powertrain, you're going to have a lot more practicality. I think it looks pretty good. I like the Aventador that it's based on, so I mean, it ranks pretty high on my list. Not to mention the specs that people have been opting for in these cars are just absolutely immaculate. Like, just go look up some of them. This is one of them, green over tan. That's one of my favorite ones. There's a purple one out there. Some crazy specs on these. Runner up, we got the Lamborghini Centenario. Now, unfortunately, it seems like the new Aventador replacement is gonna be based off of the Sion's design. I think it should have been based off of the Centenario. This just looks incredible. It looks like a better looking Aventador, if you ask me. There's nothing technologically impressive about this, no hybrid powertrain, just a tuned Aventador with the body kit, and the body kit looks damn good. Not to mention people started putting exhausts on these, and oh my god. Last, and certainly not least, we got the Ascenza SE V12. This car sounds incredible. If you thought a Gentani Centenario sounds good, this car right here sounds like that times 10. I'm almost convinced that this is not even the same engine as in the Aventador. Not to mention, this might be the only V12 Lambo that doesn't use that single clutch that they've been using since basically the entire time I've been alive. 